so often the people with this disorder will say that their parents are responsible for their developing the disorder. And to some extent, it was easy, easier on everybody to accept that. When we learned that there's a heavy genetic loading, and for me personally, I got older uh, and knew more about the difficulties of being a parent when kids have troubles, we developed interventions which were designed to help families come to terms with the limitations in their kids and the ways in which what might have been their normal and to them virtuous way of responding to their kids was actually harmful. And uh, we taught them ways in which they could adapt, customize the home environment so as to be less stressful and more supportive for their children with borderline personality disorder. So often, though, the young borderline person gets preoccupied with the struggles with their family to the extent that it interferes with their separating and getting out in the world. If the family can curb their angry responses, it gives the borderline person more of a platform from which they can go out into the world and experiment and get take their, their bruises uh, there. Borderline patients generally do well when they are in supportive environments, and they're very responsive to high-stress environments. You do them a service in, at home and in treatment, in advising them about how to conduct their lives to get them out of high-stress relationships or situations and to find those situations which are low-stress. They're not people who manage stress well.